guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be doing my top 13 products of 2013. And this is kind of uploaded late because most people uploaded it on like the 1st of January, but whatever. And these are mostly products that I either used all of 2013, like pretty much every day, or that I got in 2013 that I really liked. First one is definitely this. It's the Garnier Nu um Nutris. I don't even know. Um Skin Renew Anti Dark Circle Roller. And this is my favorite concealer. I've used it like since I started doing my makeup pretty much, but I've just there was like a point where in 2012 where I didn't use it. So I've what? used this. I've used this all of 2013 and I love it. Next is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I don't remember if I got this before 2013 or if I got it like in 2013, but all I know is I've used it every day. I've continued to purchase this, me and Emma have. It's my makeup last all day and I love it. And then there's this, which I actually got in 2012, but I used it all of 2013. You've probably seen this in a lot of my makeup like videos. It's just this elf eyebrow duo. This is the second one I've had. It has actually lasted me quite a while because I I like got this last year and it's my second one. So that lasted me quite a while. I don't use the powder though because it's like it kind of shows up orange. I only use the gel. Don't use this if you have like really light hair because I'd recommend this if you have like dark hair like me. Next is the Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Lick Gel Eyeliner. It just looks like this. I've had this one forever. It's like pretty much empty. Whenever I like wing my eyeliner, I use this and because it's like it's a lot easier for me to use gel liner when I wing my eyeliner because it's just like a lot more easy to handle and like work with than liquid because I always just like flick it too far with like liquid eyeliner. It shows up more matte, like kind of like a pencil eyeliner and I like that look for my winged eyeliner a little better than liquid. I got this for a buy and try and sorry we haven't really been doing those lately. We just kind of are never have money. It's not like we have money and we just like want to spend it on other stuff. It's just that we like legitimately never have enough money to like get stuff for like the buy and try like for ourselves to try and then when we like you know how we did like the giveaway like we don't have enough money to repurchase one of those items and like get it for you guys and I'm really sorry about that it's kind of stupid like but I'm sorry um but yeah I got this for a buy and try and I actually ended up really liking it it's only like I think it was like six dollars and it's it's retractable so you don't have to sharpen it and that's really nice because I hate sharpening eyeliners and yeah I this is just for when I don't wing my eyeliner so I really like it and I really recommend it. Also something I got for the buy and try it's the rocket mascara and the label like seriously rubbed off on all sides so yeah but I just really like how this makes my lashes look if you you've probably seen it before but this is what the wand looks like if you've never seen it. But yeah, I just really like how this makes my lashes look. And then this is a skincare product and I'm almost out, which is very upsetting. Bane and Clear Essentials Deep Cleaning Toner. And I use this in the morning and at night. It feels very refreshing. One is the one for sensitive skin. This gets the last of the makeup off that I didn't get off with my Clairsonic. Then I have this. It's the Rosebud Salve, like Smith's lip balm. I use this like every day pretty much like when I do my makeup or like sorry if you can hear Emma over there she keeps making like a lot of noise her music's turned up really loud like you know what? in I don't her like headphones. Your judgment and I would really appreciate it if you stopped. Go away. So yeah I just I really like this. It's very moisturizing and I would recommend it something I probably got in 2012 but I've been using it every day 
like even if I don't use foundation I just use it just so that my face doesn't get oily or something. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I just really like it. It's very nice and it's kind of cracked on the side. You can see that. This is a great product and it's only like four dollars and I you should get it. This Kerastase Elixir Old Time. Got it when I got a haircut one time. It just makes my hair really shiny and look healthy and I really like it. It all goes a long way so it's kind of, it's definitely more on the pricey side but it lasts a good amount of time. And then I have this um, Kirkland Daily Facial Palettes. So they're from Costco and they come in really big packages but they used to irritate my skin a little bit but then they got like a new formula and I used it and it didn't irritate my skin anymore so I use this every day to take off my makeup. It just looks like that and they're pretty big packages. It also comes with travel sized ones so that's nice for when you travel if you travel a lot. But yeah, I have, I started wearing foundation this year for school. Before that I like never wore foundation. It was just way too difficult, but now I do because it just makes me look way better. And it's, I use this every day. I use the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. And it has the lasting power of primer, coverage of concealer, and blendability of foundation in one, and it's shine free. And I just love this. It matches my skin. Like, it's like the best matching foundation that I have at the moment. And then the last product is something that I actually got for Christmas, but I just love it so much that I had to put it in this video. So, it is this beauty blender. It goes hand in hand with this very nicely. But, it just makes my foundation look flawless, like so much less streaky and it blends it really well. It also feels cool. It's one of my favorite makeup tools of all time. I definitely recommend you try it out even though it's like $20, but it is definitely worth it. But yeah, I would check that out if I were you. Those are my 13 favorite products of 2013. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Maybe you will try something out now. And yeah, subscribe, rate, and comment. Comment down below if you use one of these products and you also like it. Bye! taking snapchats of me. Okay. Keep talking. Um. Why? No! Why are you, what are you, what's happening? Keep talking because I need to Emma, see. Emma, stop because you're shaking the camera. Don't touch it like that. You're annoying that I like you. I feel like this is going to have a lot of bloopers. Kind of stings. She has her headphones in, by the way. I'm done. You're done. If you could see her face right now, you you can't see it in the mirror. <laughs> the monster under my bed. Cause we have bunk beds. Isn't my bed cute? Gosh, it's opening.